I went back and played Fallout New Vegas recently, or replayed it. I beat the game. I don't know what to do anymore. I decided, you know what? Let me go outside. I got the door shoes. Daddy, Daddy. So I'm selling my car. It's the best time to sell it, and I hate it. What I tried to do, as you can see, I uh, went a little creative and decided to paint my car. Played a little bit of GTA, had some inspiration, and I thought I can do it too. I asked for red. That's orange. Ever since that happened, I hated this car ever since. Now here's the problem with real life in GTA, right? To get this redone is to buy it over again. Ain't nobody got time for that. Uh, I also did some other stuff to it and nothing I added to this car came out right. So I had two options, right? I just put it back the way it was or Another option just happened recently. I found out that there's a shortage in this car specifically, right? Specifically, I can't talk. And I could sell it and get everything back that I put into it plus a little extra. Why would I not do that? I feel like it's a robbery, right? Because this car should not be as much as it, it's going for, but the guy didn't like, he didn't check the exhaust. It's not the same exhaust. Like he thought this is like factory paint, bro. It's his first day out here and I love him. Like, I, I'll, I'll take it. If you don't know anything about cars, basically if you do any modifications like this, you, de you, you decrease the value like crazy. And you know what? I'm happy. It was an amazing car before I touched it. I should not have decided to be Picasso with this because I literally ruined it. What the fuck is this orange, bro? The more I look at this, I, get rid of it, let's go. Every car I've owned, I make it in a video game before I actually buy it because it just makes the purchase feel like a video game and that's what I live for. The last car I bought was a Need for Speed Heat and this one is in Froza, Fro, Froza 5. I don't even like racing games to be honest with you, but. Oh, a breath of fresh air. Oh my gosh, bro. Look, it, it's not orange. I like it. I need a selfie stick, hold on. Okay, that done. I don't know what I'm doing now. I kind of do need to go home, but the, the map said two hours to get home. I don't know what the fuck they talking about, but I can't drive like this. And that's something I never got to do in the last car. I'm not really trying to flex on anything. I just kind of want to share my experience with you guys. This is more so a journal of uh, a memory that's going to be fun for me later. And I'm just sharing the experience with you guys. And of course, if it wasn't for you, none of this would even happen. So buckle up we going on a fucking adventure so let's, let's let's go together <laughs> what's it sound like all right let's drive um i'm bad at parking and i'm bad at reversing so i'm gonna need y'all what the fuck? press brake to i knew that bro stop playing with me oh we got the camera too wait hold on i gotta check because these cars tend to oh yeah yeah they have uh bad mirrors in the back so there's like a camera usually here that you can you know shut up bitch all right um one thing if you guys don't mind it right because uh, me vlogging, the reason I don't do it is because I feel like I'm fat. If you don't mind these POV Call of Duty vlogs though, I can hit these hoes, you know what I'm saying? Just go on a fucking lick and see what I, where am I going? I do want to go fast and see how that's hitting for, but I'm just not doing it with one hand. I'm just, I'm just not him. I, I, I feel confident enough just to hold and talk and that's as far as it goes. My phone's about to die, so I'm gonna see how much mileage I'm gonna get out of this. One thing about me is before I do any decision in my life that involves like thinking or going to, I don't know, make a decision, <laughs> I don't sleep. It's like an anxiety thing I got. So I'm on very low fumes. Like I can drive, like I'm good on that, but I don't think I can make this an adventurous type of vlog today. So tomorrow we might do something, we'll see. All right, now I have a question for the people down below. How the f do you customize your, <gasps> San Diego, you're like me. Oh, they got a digital dash. In my last car, I got pulled over hella just for existing. What the f is this? All right, I'm just gonna ignore it and keep on going. Uh, I don't know if a Corvette is that type of car as well too. I mean, I'ma just, I'm just keep on recording and see what happens because this is kind of comfortable. Like I can vlog, not look at the thing and just drive. Look, look, look over there. I don't even know what's over there, but y'all saw it. I like that. Sometimes I wish I had like a Caucasian button, like, you know, like the Wonder Twins. So like if I do get pulled over, I could become white and see what the alternative would have been. I've been watching a lot of like Netflix, like black drama films uh you, you know like uh the the slave uh, back in the day type movies who the fuck are you hawking at those movies are very dangerous if you're uh you know colored <laughs> i found myself becoming racist by accident i had to stop that shit. i think it was 12 years of slaves that did it for me bro i don't know if that was based off of a real story but after i saw that movie i needed to get revenge and that was not a good feeling all right about to get in the freeway um I only just started vlogging like this and I'm not going to test my luck when I need two hands for just whatever happens. So I'm leaving. Go, go for riding the car. What do you think? 
There's been two days with the car. Uh, I did a few things in between those. I got my windows tinted, which was really cool. I unfortunately got <laughs> an extremely dark tint. So how I thought tinting works is when you ask for a tint is from the percentage of like 0% to 100%. So I asked for 15% thinking that is like low, but that that is 15% sunlight that gets in your car. So it's the opposite and I'm, I'm literally illegal. I'm driving mad illegal right now. I went to Barnes and Nobles just because, I don't know, I try to force an activity. And you know what's crazy about me going to Barnes and Nobles? I'm dyslexic. So I bought some manga. Uh, the pictures help me kind of follow along with what happens. That's the trick to how I read, I guess, <laughs> things. Never read an actual book in my life. It's just very uh, hard for me to do that with seeing the words in a shuriken-like manner. Like I said before, if you guys don't mind the POV vlogs, I mean, when I'm actually going to do something, I'll make uh, an event out of it. Or if I, I don't know, I might hit up some friends to make an event out of something to, to do that. Maybe like a drive to Orlando with one of my homies. Well, it only can be one of my homies because I don't have space anymore. It's just this one seat. <laughs> my dog seems happy. Like normally he was in the car. He stresses out a little bit, but he's just kind of content. I know I've been gone for a bit on my channel. Um, this car, all this stuff has nothing really to do with it. I've been talking about it before. I'm, I'm supposed to be out of here. I'm trying to move by now, but man, it's where I want to move. It's going to take so much work to do and I can't be asked really. So with trying to find another place in Miami before I can, you know, uh, get the house I really want, because that's not going to be done for like another year or so. I just uh, have been looking and I haven't been finding anything that I like even a little bit. So I've kind of been a little stressed and instead of being responsible and keep on looking, I decided to give up and just <laughs> sell my car to get another car. Yep, proper adulting, doing something entirely different from what you need to be doing. If you want my rating on what I think about Miami and Florida, being someone who came from California, I think it's a fire five, five out of ten. It's it's pretty it's pretty average, it's pretty ass. I mean, you get the most out of it if you're into partying and stuff like that. If that's what you do and what you like, I guess you'll like it more. But me, someone who doesn't do that like that, <laughs> it's it's pretty mid. I think it was a cool experience living in a high rise for like a little bit. Uh, it was something I always wanted to do when I was a kid. So like, I'm thankful for that. But all in all, I want to go back to California. <laughs> uh, either California or Texas. That's where I've kind of been leaning to these days. I think the best perk about living here, uh, and it was only for one activity specifically. Uh, for my birthday last year, I went on a cruise um, where I'm coming up on right now. It's like uh, the pier. Uh, driving by this pier is something I do from time to time. Not specifically for this, but on this area, like where the beaches and stuff like that are. There's like a few shops and restaurants that I really like to just go in the morning and I don't know, I guess relax on, I suppose. One thing I have been pulling back on a lot is definitely my thank yous and I love y'alls because I watched his documentary on Kobe and it's just kind of about how he was as a leader. Like he more so, instead of talking about his accomplishments and things, he just led by his, his actions. To say thank you is literally beyond like the word. I, at this point, I don't believe the word itself can justify how I feel. So that's why I've been trying to go about it in a different way. All in all, the car's cool. I think maybe for another vlog, uh, there's like a, a Corvette crew club thing that people do. They go on the track and they just like, I guess, race each other or get like good times. Um, I might do something like that. My car knowledge is like very minimal. Uh, in actuality, my dream car was a Mustang. And that was like the first car I got, like just a little EcoBoost Mustang. And it was great. Um, the only reason I sold it is because I was hella advised by my uncle who sells cars that you're gonna get the most out of it if you sell it at this current point in time. And with that mindset, I've just been selling cars, uh, you know, when it's the best time to sell it so I can get a lot of money back. And that's kind of what I'm doing. Uh, when I definitely, you know, have kids and uh, a stable relationship like that, uh, for sure, I'm, <laughs> I think I'm not gonna be riding in Corvettes or whatever. It's not really practical with having a family and whatnot. But for now, you know, I'm single. Me and my dog, this bus pissing me off. I technically could move over, but see, put my phone down, hold on. The usual purchases I ever make is things that more so go back into my business. Um, this not being one of those, uh, stuff like this like always scares me because it, it, it makes me feel like I, I did too much and I'm gonna fail now because uh, <laughs> I've just made a crazy, I guess, purchase that's specifically only for myself. One of my friends told me like things like this are important, especially for how I work because uh, I'm a very motivational driven person and I kind of use that fear, putting myself in an uncomfortable position to remind me to just not get comfortable. Like it's okay to bask in, you know, the fruits of your labor um, and, you know, celebrate it, but you need to understand the weight of what you're doing. 
Um, you know, me understanding this is not no small purchase, I do freak out, but this is just gonna turn right around into my drive to keep on, you know, killing it and making good content that you guys like and growing the community we got going on. Another thing I wanna ask too, uh, in my time of looking for places and moving, I've been watching a lot of YouTubers uh, with DreamCon going there, meeting Mark and all of them again, and a lot of newer creators um, who I didn't really get to talk to like that. I went and checked a lot of their content out, like Kai Sinat, um, Jideon, and one thing I've always seen, uh, even with like Berlize and them, a lot of creators have like a name for their subscribers. And I feel like we had like a few names around here that don't really stick, right? Like Sin Team Sinju, that kind of was okay. Sinju Gang, it was whatever. Um, let me know down below if you can think of a name for like our community, like just anything that comes to the top of your head, uh, shoot your shot. <laughs> Cause that's something that I think is really cool. And I would love to have something that we can like, you know, gang gang on, you know? But if you watch this video to the end, I want you to know from the bottom of my heart, it means a lot to me. Um, this is, like I said, something that I intend to just have for myself. Um, just to look back on and feel proud for um, and just you know show some of my family I'm doing good let me see your foot <laughs> no. don't my feet in your video Why? I just want to show people something <laughs> y'all seen 12 years of slaves <laughs> no. wait till y'all see 12 years of slaves <laughs> ship in. Right, let me ask you a question I believe that if you were to get an OnlyFans I deserve 50% of what you make what you think about that I don't know why you're rolling your eyes. <laughs> Andrew Tate Sama said that's how it's supposed to be, and I agree. Thoughts? Get out. All right.